First, organize your profile. What things you should have? First, your profile cannot be private. How the person will see your work. If you want your profile private, that's your personal profile. But that's for fine. business, it has to be public. You There is your chair is your no business. <laughs> so that's your business. Yes, because they're going to go there and see who's this guy. Because sometimes you talk about business and people think, oh, I don't have, I don't own a barbershop. But your Actually, chair is your business. Your chair is your business. So listen yeah. up. And one thing too, you can't be hard to find. Right? With the name. Yes. Don't choose a name with a lot of underscore numbers and letters. Keep it simple. Because imagine the font too. <laughs> you're trying to tell people, um, oh, what's your Instagram? I'll follow you. Underscore S2A. <laughs> um, underscore. 1984. <laughs> yeah. Dot so <laughs> make sure the, the username is simple. No underscores. Avoid putting letters and numbers and writing things too difficult for people to figure it out for example our barbershop it's invictus barbershop and we couldn't get the invictus barbershop username so we got invictus barbers which is very simple and easy there's no underscores tico's instagram tico invictus that's it so people have no doubt about how to find you and then make sure in your description your bio You have the information, either your phone, either the link to book, the address. It's very important to have the location, how people will know where you are. So make sure the profile, the bio is complete. It has to have your address, the name of the shop you work at, either the link to book or your phone or whatever way, your WhatsApp, whatever way you book appointments, it has to be there. And put a couple pictures of your work. So when they see the message, they go to your profile, they're going to like what they see. And also a picture on your profile needs to show your face at least so they can, when they click it, oh, this is the right guy. Yes. Right? And the font, it's called font, the, the letters. Uh -huh. The font needs to be very clear. What you do, the address needs to be very readable. Read <laughs> neat so they can yes. read. Actually, you cannot customize. People sometimes use some tricks to put yeah, these just, yeah. weird fonts on Instagram. Don't do that. That's not good because it's hard to read. And as Tico said, show your face. Because if they go to your page and there is only the haircuts, headshots, <laughs> that's not good. Mix with pictures of the environment, the barbershop, take a nice picture of your chair, of your station with your tools organized, and have at least one picture of yourself. Yeah. If you're, you know, don't like to expose yourself on social media, but at least one good picture of you and your profile should have your uh, face, not random stuff. They have to see your face. It's important. And the... Um If you're aiming to a certain type of clientele, uh, you can put, a, I believe you can put on your profile something that catch the, this type of client's attention. Correct. Right? What, so, can for you give example, an example? Uh, if, you, um, if you don't cut kids or if you prefer not to attract too many or kids. Or just the youth or just seniors. So if you don't want to attract kids, don't post haircuts of kids because then what you post, that's what you're going to attract. So if your, um, your perfect client is between 20 and 40 years old, post pictures of people that fit this profile. So whenever someone goes to your profile, they will feel connection. Oh, see, they see themselves in those pictures and they say, oh, this must be a good barber for me. So if you do um, fantasy colors, you do these very um, creative haircuts, if you post them, you might not attract people that like more traditional haircuts because if they don't know you, they see and they think, oh, this is the type of work he does, so it's not for me. Analyze what type of Uh, profile, age you want, and then you post accordingly to attract more of those people. You know one secret? No. To become fully booked? No. Let's say you serve, you cut like 
eight haircuts. You do eight haircuts a day. Oh, I think I know what you're going to say. With every single client, take a story. Make sure you, t you post that story and tag that person. So now, not only your clients will see it, that that person is there and they kind of, they say, wow, that, you know, they connect with that age, that person's in a chair. But also when he reposts all his, his uh, audience, we'll see who you are, where you are and how, how, how good you are. Yes. So it's a great tip, right? You get free exposure. Free yes. exposure. But don't take the picture just of the client's haircut. The client. Try to take a picture with your client. With your client, yep. Smiling. Mm -hmm. You know, then he will share and everybody that follows him will see. Or well, even you can show them how, how happy your clients are with their haircut, right? Mm -hmm. Or ask the clients a question. Why'd you come here? Did you like your haircut? You know, showing them, tag them, and that's it. They will repost. Uh, ask permission first and do that with clients that you already have some friendship. Don't do with first-time clients because you might scare them, right? Who's this guy <laughs> taking pictures of me, making videos? I come here just for a haircut and he's interviewing me on his, on his Instagram. So do that with people that you have more. You had already built a relationship, but it goes a long way because they will repost for sure.